I'm Suganda Sukhutraj. I'm an Ashoka Fellow and the founder and honorary CEO of AMBA. We enable alternate learning, leading to employment for a very niche community, which is uh, adults with moderate to severe intellectual disability. They comprise 10 million in India. I'm Roy Pareda. What are you doing? Tata.com. Kenneth. What are you doing? Heat work. When are you here? Two years. My name is Anil Kumar. I am, uh, I am a data operator. I am working here uh, since uh, six years. Uh, I'll do data entry. I am a PR director here. Everywhere I went, it was all about denial. How can these guys do it? Even the special educators, the people who were addressing them, wouldn't believe that these young men and women could do that. So the best way was to put them into an environment that was comfortable for them, where people understood them. At the same time, we meant business, we did business. We took them through the learning process, we handheld them through the process. We brought in back office work. Most of the kids came, who came to us, they said they had finished the 7th and 8th standard. But what was crazy was none of them we could recognize the A or the any alphabet for that matter. One thing led to another and you know having researched for about a year and a half and not finding any solution anywhere, I went to the Air Force, the Air Force gave me space. And then Intel gave me 10 laptops. And then I went out and found the spectrum of intellectual disability. I found that they were not really given the dignity they deserved. We tried to teach them the alphabet and, and slowly within about six months they were doing things, you know, using vi visual matching uh, processes. We created templates and so on and the obvious things. Six months down the line, we're doing the 3,000 forms of receipt printing in half the time. We have 475 centers today who are in different stages of training. Today, 30 of them are work ready. These are 475 AMBA certified partner centers. We collaborate with them. 80% of our centers are in rural India. We handhold them, we bring them to Bangalore. We uh, train them using peers because you and I are not capable of doing the training. The other aspect of what we do is we go out and try and find the business, which is the most difficult thing to do. Once I can get people to come here to the Ambar Centre and to see their capability, then the sky's the limit. But uh, to get people to come is difficult. For eight years we were working for mostly telecommunications. We were doing customer application forms, welcome letters, receipt printing for Tata Tele services initially. Airtel and IDEA also gave us work, but always through the vendor. And thereafter we went and did work for CMI, many, many other market and research people, insurance companies, because these guys deliver. Go into the villages. People say, why don't you teach them, train them and place them? Who is going to take them? Even if someone takes them into cafes and you know organizations, they take only the more able ones. Thanks to ICT, sitting here in Bangalore, we can enable work from Delhi, Bombay or anywhere to all these villages. We don't worry about the behaviour. When people come here, they bite each other, they bleed. They are, I've been hit by them and they are not insane. It's just the frustration inside them that brings out these things. But the minute you give them an environment that is conducive to them, it has never taken longer than two months for them to overcome that, disrupt and to become contributors to what we do at Ayamba Post Center.